Hi, I wanted to introduce you to Gliffy. This is a free uh, graphics editor uh, online, and it's uh, quick and easy. Got some limitations in that you can only save five files, and you can only export to like JPEG, but that might be enough. So uh, I have an account, and it's a free account, so uh, I've signed in. I don't think you have to have an account, but uh, it's easy enough. Now, when you do, you can create a new file new, and you'll get this uh, window here, and they've got lots of templates to choose from. In this case, you probably want to look at these templates. Uh, I think that you have to pay for these use case diagrams, but we're not using diagrams, we're using text. Uh, what I think would be useful is this uh, uh, basic UML template. So if I open that, there's uh, many possibilities, but you have to pay for them. So I think all these you have to uh, pay for. But the basic one here, UML 1.0, it has the, uh, the symbol that we've been using. So I can type in here and, and say this is uh, level 0, which is my um, the context diagram. And maybe this is my curriculum curriculum tracking system. It has actors. We've used uh, different symbols for actors. Uh, we've used just a, a straightforward symbol like this. So maybe these were students that were interacting with this curriculum tracking system. And uh, these are faculty for example, or subject matter experts, and they're interacting with, with this system here. So this is the, the context diagram. And then you can draw arrows. Uh, I think I had a database symbol. I recently used this. I don't know where it is, but if I type in database, uh, these are some typical results. That's a typical symbol for a, a database uh, there. This was the courses courses database. And then you can connect these with uh, arrows indicating uh, that uh, data is flowing between the, the system and, and these entities, uh, for example. So here's a, a different, uh, they have different arrows. I'll choose this one. So you just click and drag, and then you can uh, attach them like like so, and maybe I have another one, like set there and connect, and, and it goes back and forth, and you can uh, move these around. You can uh, add labels. Log in. Valid yes, no. Uh, there will be lots of data flowing back and forth between uh, these two entities. Uh, I could, oops, I think I'll use this kind of arrow, <clears throat> this kind of arrow from between students and uh, the curriculum tracking. And this was um, a data on uh, course reviews. So I'm combining a lot, uh, probably different data. Uh, single data flows in, into one. This is the, uh, oops, drag it over. These are courses, course ID, that type of thing. So you can create these diagrams that look pretty good uh, in Glippy, and then you can, you can save them, and you can uh, export them. Uh, and things like that. But you can't print, so you have to export, and it's exported as a, uh, as a picture. So I thought that might be helpful for you when you're uh, drawing these data flow diagrams.